Hello everyone, it's Redneck Champ, uh, bringing you a tutorial on some of the uh, features in Minecraft, some of the programs and tools and things you can use to uh, help you out with your Minecraft world. A lot of us have really went in detail with our worlds. A lot of us have tried to expand our worlds in a way that is creative and explorative. Um, and there's some of these tools you can use to really help you out. So we're going to be discussing mainly three different things today. We're going to talk about Cardiograph, as you can see here on our screen right now. And we're going to be talking about Inventory Editor. Again, uh, some people want me to look at the new items and things you can use with the Inventory Editor. And it's really no different than the first tutorial. I should have a link in the uh, probably bottom left side over here uh, if you're wanting to go back to my first tutorial talking about how to use skins, how to uh, install saved worlds on your computer, and also use uh, inventory editor as well. But I'm going to go over it again, kind of really brief. So if you want a more detailed, go to that link down there on the left side of your screen right now. It'll be there the rest of the of the uh, of the game itself, rest of this uh, description. So what you're going to do is go to this website. I should have this website in the description. You should be good to go just by either if you can see it and write it down or whatever. Uh, or just go to the description, click on a link, whatever you want to do. Go to here, and it's going to be Cardiograph. This is done by Zombuster. He has all the credit for it. Great, great program. You're going to click here and download Cardiograph. If this doesn't work, you have two more options, but I always use this, so no big deal. Download this. You're going to have a zip file downloaded to your computer. Now, if you've never used Cardiograph, you need to make sure you have this package system. It's just a way to make sure it works and looks good. You, when you click on the link, you can change the language to just whatever language you are. Perfectly fine if you don't want to use just plain straight up English. You can tell how fast your connection speed really is. It can kind of give you an estimate how long it's going to take. Then you're just going to download it. It's a very small file, 4.8 megabytes, so no big deal whatsoever. But once you download that, install that, then you want to open up your, your zip file of Cardiograph. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hold these files here and you're going to want to just highlight them all. Now don't right click and try to copy it. It's not going to work in WinZip or WinRAR. You need to control copy. Once you control copy um, you'll be able to go to somewhere in your computer. So for myself I created a file. I named it Cardiograph in the beginning but I began to put all my little stuff from Minecraft and things in it. Uh, and you're going to make a file. I put mine in my documents because it's easy to find. And you're going to control V, which is a it's a shortcut for your keyboard if you're a PC user, um, and it's going to paste it here. You can also right click it here though and paste it. Now, let me back up right quick. If you want to um, copy this, control C, PC users, Mac users, command C. That's just your shortcuts for you. Hopefully you know that. If you don't, you do now. Then you're going to come here. You can either right click it and paste it or you can control V which is short shortcut for paste or command V if you're a Mac user and you'll have it there so it's gonna have all of these files here now you won't have the map stuff this is where I have actually uh, done some examples for you all because it takes a little bit of time to actually uh, render out the videos or the maps I'm sorry the, the maps so what you're gonna do is you're gonna double click on cardiograph over here in your file. It's going to bring up this nice little pretty layout. Uh, and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the world that you want. You can either do custom worlds, type in the address here, whatever. And if you would like me to look it up better, I can. I'd be glad to see it, make sure it actually works. Uh, normal view is kind of like a 1D view. I mean, it's just like you look straight down on, on the map on your world, it has no terrain difference, you see no elevations, you just, just see color. So you can tell if it's grass, you can tell if it's a tree, you can tell if it's a flower, you can tell if it's fire, you can tell if it's water, lava, that's it. It's like there's nothing special about it. Uh, and each one of these is something different. Oblique is just what it says. It's more of a 3D view of it. I wish you could see my hands right now. I'm trying to show you with my hands, but I know you can't see it. Uh, but it's really, really, really convenient if you're wanting to look at it at different angles so instead of having like a skylight view you're right on top of it looking down straight down the whole entire map it's like you're at a 45 degree angle looking sideways at your world seeing it in a 3d view very nice I love it 
You can tell it to ignore the water, but I don't recommend doing that because it's nice to know where the water is at. Uh, you can tell it to flip your map around. It's pretty cool. You can rotate your map, or you can put it in cave mode, which actually, and basically all cave mode really does. All it does though, really, is uh, it allows you to see like squiggle lines and things and see where the caves are. So I mean, it is convenient, but I don't much like it. Here you can change it if it's dark out, if it's midday, if it's daytime. Uh, by choosing this here, you can make it look more by going nosy. You can really see the textures, or flat as in just flat. I mean, it's just flat, flat, flat. So once you click what you want, you say render, it takes this blue bar across. Voila, you got something started. So I'm going to go through and show you what some of the uh, maps look like when you get them. Uh, the first one is going to be like an oblique angled view here. Uh, it, it, you know, it's nice. This is like, it really shows you the side views. Like, here's all the windows in my house, you can tell. Here's our Temple Damnation with the cross. Uh, here's that little obsidian gateway that we always come back in. We had to run all the way around. And uh, so, yeah, here's the waterfall going down to our shoot, I mean, our shooting range. All that. Look, it looks pretty cool. Like, I really like that one. Uh, our skylight going inside of our house and so forth. So, you know, that's a really nice one. I like this oblique version because it really shows you the nitty gritty. Like you can even see uh, where it hasn't like, made it yet, where I haven't viewed and searched. Like the lava and where all that stuff is here. That's just a little tricky thing though. So, I mean, you're not going to get that all over the place. It's going to look like this if you explored a lot. Okay, uh, the height color and height gray kind of just shows you heights. It's pretty lame. The red shows you the high spots. Yellow shows you the thinnest spot. Like here's that rig fort. Here's our uh, fireplace around here. You can see the shallowness down there. Uh, the redness is the highest. You know, it's just kind of something other that's just kind of cool, but not necessary. Same thing with that one. White is higher elevations. Gray is lowest elevations. Here's the normal day version. I don't really like it. It's more of that 1D view we was talking about. You know, it's kind of nice. It's not. The bleak angled view. This is the one that kind of distorts it a little bit. It, like It makes it at a wrong angle because... You know, this is not the way our house looks. It kind of screwed it up a little bit. But still, you get an idea of what's going on. Like, it, it looks pretty nice still yet. Uh, but I don't like the angled view. I like the oblique view. This is the cave mode with oblique. So this is going to show you what I was talking about a while ago. It's just squiggle lines. It shows you where the caves are, which is really nice. Like, my house is basically nothing but caves. Uh, but still, I don't really like it. You can use it for yourselves. If you want to find a huge cave system, there you go. Uh, if you go to my Let's Play, which should be over here in the right upper right corner uh, of the Minecraft on day one when I first got started with Fraps, first got started with a, with a video game Minecraft, first got started with all of this, my YouTube career, for, for instance, uh, you can see how that it goes along. You can see how that I created stuff and I explored like crazy. And then apparently, according to that cave mode, everything below my structure where I spawned is nothing but caves. So it's pretty friggin' nice. But this is the oblique view. I like the oblique view. It's like I was telling you a while ago, the 45 degree angle look where you're not like straight over top of it, but you're at that 45 degree angle looking at it. Uh, you can see our, our nice uh, temple of damnation, our nice mansion, our fort, I mean, uh, our mansion over here, all that cool stuff. It looks really nice. I really enjoy that one quite a bit more. This is just another uh, way of like the dust time. So like when it's part day, part night, um, just different things you can do. Here's a slice version, which doesn't really tell us absolutely nothing. But just so you see what the slice looks like, there you go. Now, for the inventory editor system, uh, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Google, unless you want to just be cool and copy the the awesome. Uh, link that I want to have in the description below and you're going to go to this address right here in a second it's basically this one right here that you can see so basically just go there For some reason my internet's slow today what's going on with it? let's turn off our cardiograph uh, but it's, it's pretty cool I do enjoy it bad gateway figures middle of a video it would figure wouldn't it guys uh, but anyways, if it doesn't let go on there, no big deal. You need to go there. Just just search for inventory editor. Uh, you'll find it somewhere. Uh, our cheers probably. That's it right here. Here we go. Uh, so download inventory inventory editor. 
Um, and you're going to have a nice little screen like this. So you take it download now. Woo! Uh, you're going to just go ahead and save it, the WinRAR, to wherever you want to go to. Then you're going to go and pull that out. Here we go. You're going to pull it out, and you're going to have all these files. All right? Now, if you was me and I was you and we was each other, I would just take this, extract it to wherever you want it to go. So, like for myself, I went to my documents, say OK, extract it to there. But just for go on with the tutorial right quick, uh, you're going to have it, and you're going to open it up, and it's going to be in a file like this. All you're going to have to do is just double click on the app. And you're going to come over here to open, do the drop down arrow. Do not click on the box. All it's going to do is give you this error. See this? Error. Don't do that, okay? Drop down arrow, open world one. It's only going to show you the worlds you already have created. So, world one is like our one we've been doing our mansion you know. on. So, as you can tell, I have a lot of stuff here because I told you all in the videos I was going to be using this image editor only for that fort because it's so large and I was wanting to make it really nice for you all but anyways here's your inventory that you have here's your armor inventory uh, I have myself a, a watch here so I, while I was in the mansion I'd be able to tell what time of the day it was so that when it's not outside you're more likely to have monsters and things in your forts in your homes that you're building so it's very important to know that to myself if you're in the caves or whatever it's very nice so over here though on the right side of this you can tell that there's all types of things you can use. Everything in a game, when you download a new one, here's a bloodstone, here's a slow sand, all that stuff that you can get from like the nether, it's on here, the pumpkins, the jack o' lanterns, all that stuff, it's on here. You can download it for yourself. Fishing rods, arrows, everything that you could possibly want is here. Like you can even get the portals, which is stupid, like I don't think it really works. And like make portal blocks and, and anywhere you want it, but get a mob spawner. It don't really work though. It's just a mob spawner, just a cage sitting there. So I mean, it looks good for looks. I'm, I'm putting it in my dungeon I'm building right now, on the uh, fourth and fifth floor of my um, of the uh, uh, fort that we're building there, the big fort I showed you. Uh, so you can have the compasses, the watches. All you do is real simple. So like I haven't got a compass in my, in my inventory right now. So you just take and you drag it and you drop it over. And you have a compass there. It's going to be there in the game when we get completely done with this. So let's say uh, you're wanting some more torches. For instance, so let's get rid of this torch. That's what you do if you want to get rid of an item in this. You just click it, drag it, and drop it in the trash can. So you take your item, you drag it over here, and you drop it down. Now here we see we have count, how many we have, what damage it does. Okay. If you got items like this, like your shovels, your hoes, all this stuff, as you can tell, like I click on this one, it's a little bit down, it damaged, because that's how much more damage you can take. You can kill like 99 more things before to kill it, basically, before it destroys your sword. Kind of the ideal of it. Well, uh, as you can tell, with these, I have a negative number. Basically, that makes it so I have like an infinite amount of uses. You just say like a negative 2,500 or something like that, or whatever you want. You can use it that many times. For instance, with this one, it's getting kind of low. You know, I, I let it use it as much as possible, but it's starting to get low. Uh, same as this one. Got 380 more uses out of that pickaxe. Now, with your items like these torches, say you want an infinite, uh, infinite amount of that item. Okay. The highest it lets you go, supposedly in game, is 64, and you'll actually be able to see that. On here, you can say 255, click away, and yeah, it goes in red, but when you go in game, he gives you an infinite amount of torches. So that's pretty awesome. That's what I've been using with these, trying to make sure I build my place up nice and pretty. Uh, and once you're done changing your inventory, don't click on the little floppy disk, click on the arrow, say save to your world click save to your world I'll save it no big deal click save to your world and now all you have to do is just close all this down it's pretty sweet close it all down click on your minecraft and you're gonna be good to go log in to your game probably going to update my game because I have like I said I haven't played it in a while but once you get on there it will be saved I promise you that 
it will be ready to go for you. Uh, and it's going to be, it makes things a lot easier as long as you promise that <laughs> if you're going to do walkthroughs and things that you won't more or less do it wrong. Uh, I may actually have a new Minecraft file I haven't downloaded. So let's go check it out real quick. I actually haven't checked it in a while. So I'll do that with you. No big deal. I know he's going to switch files and things and switch servers, so maybe what he end up doing. Well, let's just go Google it. This is sad to have us already checked for y'all in Minecraft.net. Oh wow, this is ridiculous. But anyways, guys, uh, even though I ain't gonna get this pulled up for you to look, I promise you it'll work. So all you can do is just double click on your Minecraft file, it'll pull it up for you, and you'll be good to go. You'll be able to play your game. Everything will be great. So, anyways, guys, I hope this really helps you out a lot uh, because it really, it really makes the game more enjoyable. Now, this is those two things. For the last thing, I want to show you is how to use your texture packages. The best thing I can tell you all is just go find a texture package that makes you happy. Myself, here's one I used just lately. It's been really, really nice. It's called Bump Maft. Um, it's really nice. What you're going to have to use though is it comes with a patcher. And you're going to run this patcher because it has to do it with HD settings. Alright? Now, what you're going to do is you're going to find your original Minecraft file. Now, for myself, it's already found. It should already found it for you, but you want to make sure of that. Uh, so, we'll go open. So. Yeah, let's click on the mind path. There we go. Okay, it's going to already be there. Don't touch that. Don't fool with any of these two, okay? Click on texture pack. Now, this is when you're going to find that. You want to find that texture package. So, for instance, we know that it's... Let's just say we're going to download this. Uh, and we're going to copy this. So, copy at least the bump map. Or whatever you have there. Copy it put it in some file that you know you can find, like my documents, put it in there with the cardiographer file, it don't matter, just stick it in there so that you'll be able to find it. So, let's go back, let me actually do that for you, here we go, command, that's control C again, command C for copying, and we're going to put it in our cardiographer file system, no big deal to put it there, alright, so here it is, now, when you're running this patcher, you're going to want to go to that file. You want to go find that file, like right there. Now it pulls it up. See, it automatically changes it to 128 by 128. All this is okay with this one. It'll let you know, the person will, whether or not you don't need to let that stuff stay on. So you then need to just put patch, and it automatically patches. It says successful, probably. So you know there's still a chance you could crash your game. You could do something bad. Who knows? But that's it. You can tell it to test Minecraft. It'll pull up the game for you from this patcher. It's awesome patcher. It's as simple as it is how to do that texture package. Uh, if you're wanting to do the regular texture packages that you can just copy and paste yourself, you're going to want to go to your computer, your local hard drive, users, your name, or whatever you have it under, application data, which you have to have unhidden. Please refer back to the link at the bottom left side of my other one. Let me show you how to do that. I don't do it in that one. I don't want to do it again. Go to Roman, Minecraft, and then you're going to have uh, Ben. And it's going to be right here. You're going to be able to right click on this, which is your Minecraft executable jar file. You can tell it what you want it to open with, which I always open with WinRAR. And here is where you're going to be able to whenever you download another texture package that you don't have to use the patcher which I think the patcher makes things look better they're the 3D uh, HD versions if you don't use those though you just copy the all their files that the, that the author, the creator, whatever you want to call them has, paste them in here, you're good to go please refer back to my other 
one down here, my other tutorial, if you really want an in-depth version of this. I just wanted to show you how simple it was to use the patcher that I brought up a while ago. But that's as simple as it is, guys. All you have to do, uh, and you're good to go from there. So, until next time, guys, please leave me your comments, your questions. If you need to know anything else about the game, please let me know. I have no problem with helping you all. Like I said, leave me comments, private messages. If you have not subscribed to me already, why not do so today? I have great walkthroughs. I'm doing all kinds of games. I'm doing different series. So I'm trying to make sure that everybody has a, a game or some sort of thing that they like the most. Until next time, guys, I hope you appreciated this little walkthrough. I hope it helps you out in some way or another. And y'all come on back now.